What's up everyone, Wet's Work here, and today, after a long day of trick-or-treating, or two hours, I just, just thought, you know, might as well kick back and do a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom review because we haven't done one of those in a while, and it's someone I thought I wouldn't be reviewing. You probably know what it is if you read the title, but... Sugmimus. I'd get the Carnotaurus because he's starting to pop up everywhere again, but I don't feel like it. So this is supposed to be like kind of related, I guess, to the Baryonyx, and as close as I'll ever get to the Spinosaurus since they canceled it. Because, oh my god, it might stop selling the 5,000 T-Rexes. They may not be able to sell. God forbid we have a cool dinosaur on the shelves. So I snagged this. It was at a Barnes & Noble, so yeah. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, so... Let's... I have homework. That's how fun school is. So, before we, you know, dig in, you can check out Owen, Blue, Jurassic World, Volcano, Sukumimus, Action Attack, uh, whatever that says. Specs, Massive, Chomping Action, other figures in the line. Baryonyx, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus. So here's the Sukumimus out of packaging. And, um, he a big boy. I haven't reviewed any of these ones yet. They're the $20 ones, but here he is beside his fellow friend, the Baryonyx. As you can see, he's a bit bigger than the Baryonyx. Here he is beside, uh, a Velociraptor, or he or she, he or she is, I'm sorry, but yeah. And here's Sukumimus next to the Indoraptor. Mm, bigger than the Indoraptor. Then we have the Allosaurus. Can go check out that video. And finally, the T-Rex, the one all the reviews were building up to, which you say is pretty cool. It's the battle-damaged Walmart one, but eh, it's just a little bit smaller, but still pretty big. So, let's take a look at it. It has a nice-looking head, eyes painted beautifully on each side. The teeth painted well, except for uh, that little tooth right there. Inside his mouth, or her mouth, it's not painted, it's like the T-Rex. Just plastic, but it's sculpted pretty well. And the yellow paint looks really good, it's not like super bright, except for its spine thingy. And except for its tail, they didn't do the same for it, but the rest of the yellow is this nice painted yellow. Just doesn't stand out too much, which is good. And he kind of, it, it, it has dark blue on its legs. But nowhere else. Makes sense. It's got some nice scaly texture. This is more like a hide, but then you got some more scales here. All the way up to the very scaly face, which again has that crocodile look. Oh, you're tearing up the stand. Here it is from a front view. Not too pretty looking. It's got some nicely painted toenails, but no fingernails painted. And its action feature is you press this obvious button. And he bites. Symbol thingy. 
a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Lego. Y y yeah, kind of messed up everything. Thank you. But yeah, the blue is a nice shade of blue. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's uh, it's just right. Come on, stand. Um, the packaging though showed it as a more gray with very yellow, as you can see there. But luckily it isn't that because I actually like the colors of this. So it doesn't have any head articulation, but you can kind of, I guess, open the jaw. But of course, it kind of has neck articulation, but that's all in its like cool little. It opens its mouth and then snaps shut. It looks really cool. Like, uh, snap, 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 snap. Its arms rotate and hinge out. It's got some pretty beefy arms. Nice, nicely sculpted like usual. Legs rotate and good. Have a little bit of out movement. Oh, even that little spot on the toes painted. And for bonus, its tail articulates, which is good. So yeah, this isn't an overly long review. It's just a good look at the Sukumimus. Just hit my light. And I would say if you can find it, I'd highly recommend picking it up. Sadly, it doesn't make any noises, but it doesn't really matter. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised I found it. I wasn't expecting to find it. But hey, also, like usual, it has some scars. It's got a scratch here, scratch here, scratch here. That's all I noticed on that side. Let's check the other side. It's also got, a, I think, a little bit more scratches down here. I couldn't tell. And he's got, like, a scratch here. You can see more scratches on there. So it shows this animal has been through some rough times. Also, I forgot to mention this, but there's, like, dark blue or almost black around his eyes. Or her eyes. Kind of have to arch the tail down. But yeah, he's kind, of, he's kind of got scratches like the uh, Allosaurus. I guess it. It looks pretty cool. When I saw it on the shelf, I was like, I have to have it. And it's a pretty big dinosaur. It's a decent size. You can get it going at the T-Rex and have it fight the T-Rex. But you can also have it fight smaller dinosaurs. Like the Gallimimus. Or have it chew, chew Alan Grant, the only human we have. Would we be able to do it? I don't think it's big enough. Yeah, let's try it. We did it! We picked up Alan Grant! Yeet him to the ground. Get out here, dumb Alan Grant. You weren't in the m most recent movies. Unlike my boy, Ian. Is his name right? Ian Malcolm. So, yeah. What would I rate it? 8 out of 10, buy it. If you can find it. I've only ever found it once and that was today and there was only one of it. But if you're not looking for it and you're looking for the Carnotaurus, I would check out Walmart because Walmart has been getting stocked with the Carnotaurus. And if you, you know, want, you know, a Mosasaurus. I managed to find one at a Target. Yeah, 
And the new wave, I think, is coming out. I'm not going to pick up too many from the new wave. Because I'm more of a carnivore person. And I think there's only one really interesting one. Did you see how they made Titan Heroes of a blue? It's so weird. But yeah, again, Mattel, they done did good with the Sukumimus. I I really like it. It's, it's cool. I like its fighting feature. I've tried it on the Carnotaurus, and I prefer it on this one because it has a bigger jaw. Carnotaurus's jaw is like... It's the size of Blue's jaw. Blue's a raptor. But yeah, Carnotaurus appears in the movie. Does the Sukumimus appear in the movie? They are making so many dinosaurs from this line that it is insane. Never would I thought I'd be saying I'd own a dinosaur of a Sukumimus because until this movie I never knew what a Sukumimus. I never knew Sukumimus existed. Hey, you can see his nostrils. Also, make sure to check out Soundwave's review. And if you leave a comment on this video, I will give you a shout out. Also, shout out to AJ's Customs. Almost forgot. I've done an entire shout out video to him. But yeah, again, shout out to him. He's pretty cool. And shout out to Halo Fan, who is a devoted fan. Also, go check out the video where I show off him and him. And check out for our next video, or my next video, because here's just a little sneak peek. It's totally not a rehash or anything. They're, they're different. They're different. See? Two Michaels. I'll make a video on that probably tomorrow. And my custom Legos will continue. I just didn't get a chance to make the one I wanted because I thought I could do it today, but that didn't end up well. I got some Subway, though, so that's... That's, pr that's pretty cool. I also found the Optimus Prime um, Studio Series figure t to go with, you know, Megatron, but I couldn't buy it, which is why I bought the Soundwave, and now I want to... So yeah, check out, and uh, stay tuned, because I might review the other three G1 ones. So yeah, this is the Studio Series Megatron. Can you believe they're making a leader class Megatron from Dark of the Moon? I was so hyped to hear they're making a Dark of the Moon one, because when I was little, I loved the Dark of the Moon design. But nope, it's a leader class. 50 bucks. Not seeing that on our channel. So yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video if you would like. And, um... Yeah, I know this video was out of the blue and is not the greatest, but he's got bumps on his neck. And like, also, yeah, I forgot to mention this, but he also has the weird scaly things on his feet. So yeah, that's it for this video. So, so let's see who wins. Five dollar sound wave from G1 or Sukumimus, which is 20 bucks. Both around the exact same size. In this episode of... Don't know what the hell I'm doing. And the Sukumimus takes the first dub. But will he be able to hold it up? A sound wave gives a soccer punch to the face. Final round. Who will go down first? is the winner G good job soundwave here's your trophy
the end.